I've got good form. Cullen's putting his Templar training to good use. Did Cullen tell you he was a Templar? He's not wearing the armor. He didn't have to. Might not be a Templar shield, but it's a Templar holding it. He angles the shield just a bit down. Helps direct fire or acid away, so it doesn't spray right into your face. Kanari learned the same thing when we trained to fight to Vinter Mages. Your Templar's doing good work. You sound like you want to head down there and give the troops some pointers. Nah. I'm no good at command unless I know who my guys are sleeping with and what they like to drink. Inquisition's already too large for that. The Chargers are big enough for me. Biggest problem for the Inquisition right now isn't on the front line. It's at the top. You've got no leader. No Inquisitor. Cassandra's been the driving force of this Inquisition. She's the leader in all but name. Cassandra's a seeker. From what I gather, that's a bit like a Ben Hasra. She's a good hunter and a great fighter, but she doesn't see the big picture. Too busy searching for answers. My people don't pick leaders from the strongest, or the smartest, or even the most talented. We pick the ones willing to make the hard decisions, and live with the consequences. Ah, who knows? Maybe you sealed the breach. The Chantry gets off its ass, and all those soldiers go home and get fat. You think? It could happen. It won't. But it could. How's it going? I'd like to know more about your work with the Ben Hasrath. Ben Hasrath is actually a general term. You've got the secret police who investigate problems inside our territory. You've got the re-educators who take people with problems and fix their minds. Or make them disappear. And then you've got the spies. How do the re-educators work? Well, I only know the basics. Wasn't my area. That said, keep a man awake long enough. Ask the right questions, give the right potions, and you can get him to say anything. You don't need blood magic or demons to change someone's mind. We're a lot more fragile than you'd like to believe. You can alter someone's beliefs that easily. One of my friends was a re-educator. He said that every memory is like the page of a book. When you examine a memory, you're turning to that page. And when you're there, the page is laid bare. Write a few notes in the margins of the page, erase a word here and there, and your whole outlook changes. I always felt a little weird reading after that conversation. The re-educators sound horrible. Yeah, they probably do. Here's the thing, though. What happens in Orlais when you commit a crime or betray a lord? They just lop your head off. At least the Canari try to fix you. And you're a spy? Close. I am now, I suppose. But that's not how I started. They sent me to Saharan because they needed someone who could fight and hunt down problems. That whole island was a sack of cats. Incursions from Tevinta, Talvashath, and native rebels fighting both sides. And in the middle, me. Trying to wrangle the rebels and restore order. I can't imagine that was easy. Nope. I hunted down a lot of rebels. Lost a lot of friends to Vince, the Fog Warriors, or the Talvashar. One day I woke up and couldn't think of a damned reason to keep doing my job. Turned myself into the re-educators. Not many people would have the courage to do that. I thought about letting some rebel kill me, but I couldn't give any of those bastards the satisfaction. The Ben Hasrath ordered me to go to Orlais, ostensibly as a Talvashoth, and work undercover. That's how I ended up here. I'm glad you're here, Bull. Me too. If you ever need to talk more about all this, let me know. Nah, it was a long time ago. Thanks, though. How's it going? I'd like to know more about the Kunari. You writing a book? It's your culture, and I'd like to know you better. You could just ask. I am. All right. What do you want to know? How do the Kunari rule themselves? It's pretty simple. We've got the matriarchy, the priesthood, and the military. The priesthood figures out how Kunari should live in theory. The matriarchy makes it work in practice. 
And the military keeps the Kunari safe from outside threats. Does it actually work like that? Is there much infighting? <laughs> Not like you're thinking of. People disagree, yeah, but the priests are there to solve disagreements. Here in Olay, politicking comes from people putting their own gain ahead of the gains of society. If you do that among the Kanari, the Bin Hasrath set you straight, or kill you. I've heard there's no marriage among the Kunari. Yeah, that's true. Kunari love our friends like anyone does, but we don't have sex with them. Kunari don't have sex? <laughs> oh, we definitely have sex. Their Tamasrans will pop your cork whenever you need it. Seriously? Yes. It's not a big deal like it is here. It's like... I don't know. Going to see a healer. Sometimes it's this long, involved thing, it takes all day, leaves you walking funny. Other times you're in and out in five minutes. Thank you, see you next week. So, you've never really made love? Connected with someone in both body and soul? I don't know. One time they used this thing called the Sato Nerapan. It's a leather-wrapped rod on a harness. That wasn't really my soul. Also, there were more than two people. How is everyday life different for Kunari? Well, depends on your job, I guess. Some are just about the same. A baker in Val Royo gets up, gets dressed, and starts work. A baker in Parvolan does the same thing. They don't care about the Empire or the cube. Mostly they worry about breaking eggs and hope the dough rises right. It can't be exactly the same. The Kunari have no personal freedoms. How many personal freedoms do you figure that Baker in Val Royo has? Life isn't about freedom. The Baker in Parvolin wonders if she'll be given enough eggs to do her work. Will they come on time? Will the kitchen workers get her bread while it's fresh, or will they come late and blame her because it's stale? Same crap in Val Royo. People are just people. What's it like growing up under the cune? The Tamasrans raise us in these units of kids all our own age. They're like teachers, or chantry sisters. They also help figure out what jobs we should do. They had me pegged for military work early on. When they learned I could hit stuff and lie, they started training me for the Bin Hasra. So the Kyun decided what work you would do. You didn't get a choice. I could have acted like I didn't like hitting things, I guess. But why would I do that? I was good at my work. I liked doing it. Far as I can tell, the Tamasrans made the right call. Do you ever think about what would happen if the Kunari conquered Orlais or Ferelden? Some folks, like Cassandra or Colin, would do fine if they didn't die fighting. Those two love wolves. But the mages. Can you imagine Solas trying his fade dreaming under the cube? Or Vivian doing her political bullshit? Both Sarah and Varric would mouth off until they ended up re-educated, drugged until their minds broke. So, to answer your question, no, I don't think about it much at all. The word Kunari, is that the race or the religion? Both. Kind of. The humans and elves who follow the Kuhn are the Vidathari. The Kunari who break away from the Kuhn are Talvasha, deserters. What about Kunari who existed before the Kyun? The people we came from. They're called the Kasset, but we don't use that word for the race. We came south to Thedas because the Kasset were... I don't know. We had to leave. The stories aren't clear. But I don't expect they look much like us. Whatever they are. See you later, Bull. See ya. What's going on? So, how did you get the name Iron Bull? I picked it. We don't have names under the cube. Just, I don't know. Job descriptions, I guess. When I came to Orlais, I chose the Iron Bull for myself. But why specifically Iron Bull? This may surprise you, but I really like hitting things. Also, it's THE Iron Bull, technically. I like having an article at the front. It makes it sound like I'm not even a person, just a mindless weapon. An implement of destruction. That really works for me. See you later, Bull. 
sehe.